And I did the suspense for about a year, and I did change. That so-called got back into whatever the top ten was, because uh, I think Stevens was tired, you know. I mean, he was doing it every week for years, and, uh, and he, he didn't seem to mind being out. He left no scripts. I had one feather, <laughs> one script that was not usable. And I had to really try to quickly glue together some things. Um, luckily, he left for me his assistant, who had been an AD, assistant director, and who would become my director, named Robert Mulligan, who later became a very good director, and was then. He became a well-known one. This was an anthology, uh, anthology series. And so you had some uh, wonderful casts. Oh, yes. Way. We had very good casts, and also it was e easier to get material because I finally, instead of just doing crook shows all the time, cop shows, things like that, I thought the title is suspense. So any story that has most good stories have suspense in them, you know, the, not, not, not hoods. Not, I did the Meyerling love story, you know, after all the two royals who killed themselves at the end of the end of a half hour, that has to be a pretty good show. And I had Christopher Plummer and a and, uh, uh, wonderful uh, uh, foreign woman whose name will escape me now, but she was a, became a movie, some, some of, something of a movie star. And uh, that kind of casting, we were able to get good, good people. They were not, uh, Christopher Plummer was not a star there, but he was a hell of an actor and had come from Canada to, just then, to try his hand in America, and he, and he, he was good.